Today we're checking out a 1971 Chevy Nova. Beautiful color, great looking car. Love the stance, wheels and tires. Sounds good too. Yeah. It's got a perfect sound of cam in it, doesn't it? Yep. Um, this paint job was done about nine, 10 years ago. Um, previous owners had it for eight years. And look at the paint quality on the bottom side of the hood. Inner fenders are beautiful. Power steering, front power disc brakes, uh, headers, new battery, just a MSD ignition. Just a great looking engine bay, yeah, huh? show quality engine department. You mentioned show quality engine compartment. I mean, the car was built to a show quality standard eight, 10 years ago. Yeah, absolutely. I know what the guy told me now. The paint was 12 years old. He bought it nine years ago. So he's owned it about nine years. And uh, he did a lot of the mechanical stuff here in the last nine years, so. Very nice. Yeah, it's got a gorgeous front bumper. Grill's beautiful. <clears throat> Hood gap is a little wider on the passenger side than it is on the driver's. Paint quality is nice. Got a couple little chips, stuff like that, just from uh, driving the car, Dalton. But all in all, it's a it's a beautiful car. It is. American Racing wheels, nice chrome wheels. Uh, lower fender matches up nice to the door rocker panel. Back of the door tucks in nice to the quarter panel as well. Tiny little rock chip right there. We're kind of doing this video in the afternoon, so our shadows are kind of, I don't want the shadows to get in the way here. Um, back shelf is beautiful too, Pioneer 6 by 9s Top of the back seat's awesome as well. A back bumper has been replaced. Some of the tail light chrome's original, so it does have some little scuffs around that. <clears throat> Lower quarter panel's great. I just love the color. I do too. Very nice straight body. Mike buffed it out. The car shines really nice. It's got a little ding right here. As we open the doors, the doors, fenders, hood, trunk lid, all was painted off the car, jammed properly. All looks really nice. Uh, door panels and seat covers, carpet, all that was replaced. Did a beautiful job. Dash pad's perfect. Does still have the automatic on the column, which I like, rather than a, a kind of a goofy floor mm -hmm. shifter. And I like the painted dash, too. Headliner's absolutely gorgeous. Whoever replaced that did a phenomenal job. It's got the GM seat belts. It's got three in the back, three in the front, carpet, seats, door panels. Everything about this Nova is show quality. Absolutely. Looks like you got a, two little chips right here on the stick on the stripe. But the stripe's all been cleared in. You can't feel the stripe at all on it. As we look up and down the driver's side, besides a couple little chips on the edge of the door, absolutely gorgeous. Love the exhaust tips as well. Go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. There you're gonna see about 15 to 25 photos of the undercarriage on this little 71 Nova. I'm show you how solid it is. Dual exhaust in there all looks newer. Set a few little chips right there. A few chips on the very top edge of the rocker. Bottom of the fender is great. I'm pretty sure this is just buffing compound here. Nope, oh, that'll come right off. Um, looks like door handles were replaced during restoration as well. Door rubbers, felts, all that was done. Corner of the doors had just a little bit of work on it. This one's got all aftermarket cobalt gauges. Um, it's got the auto meters. 
gas gauge works, amp gauge, volt gauge works, um, speedometer works, factory tack works. It's got 60 pounds of oil pressure and temp gauge is not on quite yet. Heater fan works? Heater fan does work. It looks like it needs to be secured in there a little better, um, but it works good. Very good, sounds good. Got front kick panel speakers up here and six by nines in the back, nice sound system. Horn works good, wipers work. Already checked the dome light, that works when the door is open. I like the interior on this thing a lot, really nice headliner. I like the Nova embroidered in the headrest. Yeah, this has a four speed auto in it too, which is nice. awful nice for cruising. It is. Steering wheel's in great shape. Just even in the lot there, it had a nice little firm shift in it. Yeah, I love the cowl hood, the white stripes. I mean, just all in all, if you're looking for a nice little Nova, this is a great car. Good power too. Lots of power, doesn't it? Really good power. Uh, 3,000 RPM right there in the shift. Just brakes are great, no pull left or right. As far as our RPMs here at the stop sign, we're doing about 500 RPM, so it's got a really nice low idle, but it then you can really hear the sound of that cam, the lope of it. The suspension feels good going down the road. Got, I love that new exhaust sound. Look at that. It drives perfectly straight down the road. Yeah, it does. Really nice. Like I said, suspension feels great. Shifted into overdrive Dalton at 4,000 RPM. Uh, the speedometer is off. It shows we're doing 100. We're probably doing about 85. Yeah. We are moving pretty good, we though. We are definitely moving. We could be doing 100. We could be, but here's the thing. It just drives so smooth. It does. Yeah, it is nice. Kick down works good, yep. don't it? You get a little nervous, do you? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> it's just so smooth that you don't even notice it, do you? Yeah. Goes down the road awesome. Nice little Nova. Check it out on our website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put a link down in the comment section if you're on YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.